Hi, I'm Robin Wood, a current maintainer of DVWA and after the popularity of the last video I did, which was installing DVWA in Kali, I figured I'd do a similar kind of video, but this time installing in Windows and using XAMPP. To do this, I've got a fresh uh, Windows 11 install, so everything that needs to be done will be done in this video. I've not done any setup beforehand. To install XAMPP, I simply googled XAMPP download, first hit gives you the download page and I've downloaded version 8.2.0 so just going for whatever the latest one is and for me I'm using the 64-bit one so after the download that's given me an installer let's run the installer and yep we want to install it Okay, so just take note of the warning. It's telling you not to install it in C program files. But that's okay. The default install location is off the root of C. So we don't need to worry about as long as we select the installs. So we'll start the setup. And I'm not going to change anything in here. If you want a minimal system, if you've not got much file space, uh, disk space left, then feel free to turn off. Um, you don't need FileZilla, Mail Server, Tomcat. You don't need Perl, Webalizer, or Fake Send Mail. For this, all you need is PHP My Admin and MySQL. But I'm just going to leave everything on. And as I said, the default install is not C program files, it's C slash XAMP, so we're going to install it there. Yep, I want the English version, and off you go. And this takes quite a while, so I'm going to pause the video here, let this continue, and I'll come back once the install's finished. Okay, and we're back. The install's finished, and uh, at the end of the process, it's asking if we want to start the control panel. So I say yes to that, and finish there. Give it a minute, and up pops the control panel. So the two services we're interested in, DVWA, we've got Apache and MySQL, so we're going to start those. We just start one at a time, give it a minute, and what you should get from this is a pop-up from Windows Defender Firewall, just checking that you actually want to start that up. So there we go, and you can just say allow access on that. And we're going to do the same on MySQL. And again, get the firewall um, pop-up and allow that. If you get an error, try again. That was just me being slow clicking the, uh, the Defender pop-up. Right, so we've now got both services running, both showing green. We can test Apache, simply going back to your browser and browsing to localhost. And if you've done it all correctly, you should get the XAMPP welcome page. Okay, so all that is now up and running. So the next thing we're going to do is grab ourselves a copy of DVWA. We're going to do this slightly differently to the way we did it in Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu, we checked out a copy of the Git repo. Here, we're going to download a copy um, as a zip file. So what this means, this gives you a static copy of the site as it is when you download it. So any changes that are made, uh, you won't get them. You'll have to download a new copy of it. So let's download that. Download fairly quickly. And that should appear in your downloads directory. Right click on that. And we're going to ask it to extract all. And yeah, we can just again go with the defaults. Let that run through. done and there we get uh, our extracted files 
going to DVWA master and that's our copy of DVWA for this we need to rename this folder and we're just going to take master off the end of it what you'll notice if I just expand this out a little bit wider is we've actually got two directories here we've got DVWA master and then in it we had another DVWA master we're renaming the second one, the one that's got the files in it. Reason we're doing that, if we open a new explorer window, we want to go back. If you remember from the install of Xamp, Xamp's install in C Xamp. And in there we have a htdocs directory, which is where the uh, all the web files live. We have both of those open. We're going to copy our DVWA folder into htdocs. So what you should have is C, Xamp, htdocs, DVWA. This is capitalised, um, and so it should be accessed through capital letters. To check we've done that right, we can come back over here, go into there, and we go DVWA. Do that. And that's a mistake because we've still got a dashboard there. So let's take dashboard out. And this should give us an error. Yep. DVWA system error config file not found. And it's telling us to copy the config slash config inc php dist to config inc php. So we don't need that one anymore. Go back to here. So what it's telling us to do is to go into the DVWA directory, go into config, and we ship with a distribution config file. So this is a com um, an example config file. What you need to do is to rename this to get rid of the dist extension of it, and then make it your own with your settings. Uh, some versions of Windows, you won't see the file extension, so you won't see this last dist. This is what messes a lot of people up. Um, some versions of Windows hide F um, file extensions or hide known file extensions so what you should be seeing here by default is config inc php dist and the file type should be dist if you've not seen the last dist on it you're going to have to mess around with the view um, on windows 11 it's view file name extensions on here i'm just getting it by default so what i need to do f2 rename get rid of dist and yes, I'm sure I want to change it. Okay, so if we go back over here, we should get a different error this time. Uncaught exception, uh, accessing DVWA. That's fine, that's exactly what we expect. Come back into here, and let's just open the file, have a quick look at it. We want to open it with Notepad. Right, so what we've got in this file, this is all our config details. The main bit you need to worry about is this here. This is setting up how DVWA accesses the database. We're saying we're accessing a local host, we've got a database server, uh, sorry, a database name called DVWA, we've got a user called DVWA, we've got a password of that, and we're accessing on that port. So that's fine, that's fine we've got to take care of these bits. So to do that, what we're going to do, bring back up our console, and for MySQL, we want to do some config on it. No, not config, sorry, admin. That should bring us up PHP my admin. Okay, so in here, this is a list of databases. So at the moment, we don't have a DVWA one, we need to create one. And we're going to call it DVWA. Create. So what we've done is we've created a database called DVWA, and this has to match the database name in here. So if you decide to fiddle with this, change that to DVWA My Server, that's the database you need to create. Now we've got DVWA, we need to add the user. So we'll go to privileges, add user account, the username, again, these need to match. So we call our user in here is DVWA. 
come back over here, DVWA. Don't need to worry about host, password. Let's copy that. If you're copying, watch out for the quote symbols. You don't want to copy the outside quotes. Yeah, it's weak password we know. That's it. And we want to grant all privileges on the database DVWA. Don't need to worry about anything else in here. We can just click go. And no, not bothered about saving that. Make sure you get you have added a new user or something equivalent. If you have an error up here, then something's failed. You need to work out what you've done wrong. So we've now got our database. Let's go back to DVWA, refresh this, and we get our login page. If you try and log in now, it should redirect you to the setup page because we haven't finished the setup yet. So what we'll get, setup, and we haven't done a database. First time using DVWA, you need to run setup. That's what we're doing. We just click the create database button. If everything's gone right, database is created. Let's just go back to that. Well, we won't see the uh, message again, but basically you should get a success in there. You should get all greens. If you don't, then something went wrong. Again, stop, work out what went wrong. Don't try and push on if you see errors. So we've done that. Let's go back to our login page and check. Whoops, admin and password. Try again. And there we go, we're in. So that's a really basic setup. If we go back to the setup page, some of you might have noticed we did have a couple of reds in here. If you really want to fix these, we can do. It's fairly simple. The two things we need to fix, allow URL include and missing the GD extension. Recapture key. I'll let you worry about that one yourself. That's in the uh, the readme notes. You only need to, uh, to play with that for, I think it's one of the labs. So most of the time, certainly if you're getting started, just you can ignore that one. Uh, similarly with GD, that's just for one of the, uh, the insecure capture labs, but we may as well fix it while we're here because people don't tend to like red. To do this, go back to our uh, XAMP and we go to config and we want to edit the php ini file so that brings up notepad with the php ini file and in here we are looking for allow url include which is currently disabled come back over here and search for that it's something I found first time I copied and pasted this, I accidentally grabbed a space at the start of it, and when I tried to search for it, it wouldn't find it anywhere. So just make sure you're uh, you're being careful when you copy paste in the the thing. Once you've done that, you should find by default it's off. We need to change it to on. The other problem we have is GD. So we come back to this, and we search for. GD. And if we go down there, GD is an extension. To enable it, all we need to do is just remove the semicolon. Semicolon is like a code comment, so it's don't, in, don't turn it on. Remove the, the semicolon, save the file, and that should now work. And the last thing we need to do is just stop and then restart Apache. A few minutes, that's back up again. Come over here, they're now both enabled. And let's just do a quick test. Oh, we go to security level. Again, this is the thing that stumps people first time they install it. By default, we're set up on impossible level, full secure. Let's drop that to low and make the change. And if you want to confirm that that's changed, security level down here says low. 
Let's have a look at reflected cross-site scripting. What's your name? Robin. Hello, Robin. What's your name? So a really basic cross-site scripting in there. Submit that. Localhost says XSS. And that's it. At this point, you have a full working DVWA in Windows through XAMPP. Hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, let me know.